All right, Rex. Heading out for a few days. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Joe's gonna feed you when I'm gone. Yeah, man, I got you. There he goes. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Okay. Well, I left instructions on the fridge. It's really easy. Just make sure you give him food and water once a day. He'll be fine. Will do. Hey, Joe. Hey, Rex. Oh. Joe, you okay? Thurston, I... I don't know what to say, man. What are you talking about? I did the best I could, man. It, it's Rex. He's not doing so hot. What do you mean? He died this morning. I gave him food and water every day like he told me. Followed all the instructions you left out. Last night, he, he barely touched his food. He wasn't moving around much, and... When I went to check up on him this morning... He was just laying there, curled up. He died a peaceful death, Thurston. You gave him a good life. Where is he now? I didn't move him. I can barely look at him. My dearest friends, it is with great sorrow that I inform you of the recent passing of my beloved hamster Rex. His life was full, but has reached its end. His spirit has left his body and begun the great journey of the afterlife, whatever that may be for hamsters. In honor of this one-of-a-kind Rodentia, I have decided to give his body a final salute. Please join me at the water's edge this Sunday for said ceremony. Sincerely, Thorsten Galbraith. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of an honest and true individual, Rex, the tiny hamster. I wish I could have spent more time with him, but he made the most of our situation and never complained. Although we didn't talk much, Rex was one of my closest friends. I know many of you have felt the same, and I am honored to see you all here to celebrate his life. Together, we will send his body 
to the heavens. May he reach the stars. In the words of my good friend, Peter Money, I have the following to say. We are always almost there, it seems, and then it seems we are not. We try to bridge the gap, the near misses, the near meetings, the lives and opportunities that pass our way so often, we are always just a word away. Or eye to eye, if only we could see clearly, from saving ourselves and others. But let us be reminded that feeling alone, feeling alien, still provides a chance, however momentarily, to witness, even briefly, the indelible manifestation of which will last a lifetime. Let us now send Rex, the tiny hamster, up to the heavens and beyond to join his tiny hamster brethren.